video is going to serve as an introduction to the preset panel on 3D Coat. We touched on it briefly in a previous demonstration covering the user interface changes. However, it's such a valuable addition to version 4 that it warrants further exploration. I'll try to explain what presets are, how to create them, store them in a file, and reload them if needed. Then we'll finish up by looking at ways to share our presets with other artists. So, number one, what are presets? Tool presets in 3D Coat allow you to store not only a tool from the tool panel here, but any changes you make to its parameters, whether it be in the toolbar here, brush options panel, the tool options panel, brush alphas, and the e-panel where you can select different draw modes as well as the parameters here. The primary purpose of tool presets is to save the artist time by giving them quick access to those tool modifications in a single click for future reference sake. For example, let me zoom in here. If I were sculpting micro surface detail like this, it might take a little time to choose the type of tool I want to use, the draw mode, in this case I want to choose a stamp, and then scroll through my brushes okay, and find a brush alpha that I want to use. In this case maybe kind of a reptile type of pattern here. And then adjust all the other settings. For example, uh, I may want to bring the border width up just a little bit in the fall off so that it blends together with other strokes. You can bring that up a bit as well. I'm going to bring the smoothing down considerably. Okay, depth value on surface level detail like this. I want to keep the depth value down and uh, I'm content with the default brush options here. Okay, so can pull this out. Okay, so knowing how much time it took to go through all those adjustments, why not then save this out so I can use it again in a future setting? All right, the next question is how do we store our presets? We go to the upper right hand corner of the panel and choose Add Preset. You'll notice that you have not only the tool we have chosen here in the tool panel, but also the brush alpha and the draw mode as well. So you can go to the upper right hand corner you can see under what to store all the different settings and by default they will all be chosen except for colors and I can double click to rename it. Let's choose maybe rip tile pump 01 and then if I want to move this reorder it somewhere I can go all the way to the left side of the panel and I see a little move icon up here. Then I can drag it into place. Okay, and once you have a group or list that you now want to save, you can go again here to the little toggle and choose Save Presets. This will let you save as a file. Okay, and Likewise, you can choose Add Presets from File, and it will load what you saved. Now, one thing to keep in mind is, let's say I have a group here that I've created. When I load a particular preset file, it's going to stack that new choice on top of what I already have. So just keep that in mind. If you want to change that, if you want what you already have to be on top and the new file to be on the bottom, then what you can do is choose Clear All and then load them in the order you want. 
Okay, one thing you may also notice is that 3D Coat will logically place your tools or your presets in specific categories. For example, you can see here I can collapse this stack in a panel and likewise here you can see I have tools that are specific for voxel mode and also categories for other workspaces such as the retopo room, the paint room, and so on. Now I can also further clean things up by simply right clicking and unchecking show all presets. So what that will do is it will show only the presets that are applicable to the mode I'm working in or the workspace I'm working in. And the last thing I want to point out is how you can share all your presets with other artists. What you can do is take the file that you saved for a group of presets and you can create an extension here from the file menu, create extension, and you'll notice a group of options here to save and what this will do is it will give you the opportunity to save both the preset and any brushes that might be needed to accompany those presets. The reason why I say that is this group of brush alphas, they're not the default set. So other artists may not have access to these reptile patterns, so I need to include them when I create this extension. So what I would need to do is under brushes, probably choose which brush set whatever folder that I am using here in this case it would be 3DC brushes Could scroll down navigation themes and then all the presets themselves so basically you would need to go in and just select all of them just uncheck those that you don't want to add or vice versa and then you would save it as a 3DC pack and then under the download section of the main page under resources you can choose which category it best fits in this case maybe other and then upload 3DC pack so you can provide a title for your 3DC pack, description, thumbnail, screenshot, and then the file itself. Okay, then just click upload. And you'll probably see something like this. And then you can just download if you want to access a library or brush pack or something that someone else uh, is sharing. Alright, we've covered a lot of ground here and we'll now bring this introduction to a close. I think you'll find the Tool Presets panel to be a powerful new workflow enhancement in 3D Coat. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos.